This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the acid base properties of amino acids. Amino acids form zwitter ions, which are electrically neutral molecules with a positive and negative charge. Here we have the structure of an amino acid as a zwitter ion. The zwitter ion is formed when the hydrogen ion from the carboxylic acid group bonds to the nitrogen atom on the amino group. This produces a positive charge on the amino group and a negative charge on the carboxylic acid group, but overall the molecule is electrically neutral. Next we look at the acid base properties of amino acids. Amino acids are amphoteric or amphiprotic. This means they can act as bronsted lowry acids or bases by either donating a proton or accepting a proton. Here we have the structure of the Zwitter ion. A proton, which is a hydrogen ion, can be donated by the NH3 plus group, or a proton can be accepted by the COO negative group. So depending on the pH, an amino acid can either donate a proton or accept a proton. Therefore, it is amphoteric. In this reaction, we have the amino acid donating a proton, therefore acting as a bronsted lowry acid. Here we have the equation for the amino acid glycine acting as a bronsted lowry acid by donating a proton. In this reaction, the amino acid is accepting a proton acting as a bronsted lowry base. And here we have the equation for the amino acid glycine accepting a proton, therefore acting as a bronsted lowry base. The charge on an amino acid depends on the pH. At low pH, which is a high concentration of hydrogen ions, the amino acid gains a proton to form a cation. So at low pH, this reaction is favored, where the amino acid gains a proton to form a positive ion. At high pH, which is a low concentration of hydrogen ions, the amino acid loses a proton to form an anion. So at high pH, this reaction is favored, where the amino acid loses a proton to form a negative ion.